Yeah. What's up, what's up? What's up, G-Money? I wasn't that bad, but I was... What's the cat? It's the tabby, the sheep. I don't know any other types of cats. You know any cats? Yeah, What's your favorite cat? I think the odds are against you. He's been winning all these games. Anything can happen. He's been whining. Yes, I've been whining. Whining? Ready? Let's do it. Adjusting. That's just a move. That's just a move. It's a just a move. Popular. It's a just a move. I gotta think, man. Not in the second move. <laughs> Not a lot in the second move. Even on the second move. Sometimes you gotta think on the second move. Sometimes you have to think for the second. You have to decide. You have to decide how you want it to go. The Maroxy, huh? How do I play against this? How do I beat this? The Maroks. Maroks, see. To summon my Hikaru. Why don't we ban fire trucks from this neighborhood? I'm the same <laughs> seems like that, huh? It seems like that. A rematch at a different level. Hopefully, a different <laughs> level than my last two games. <laughs> <laughs> I played one good game against you, but then I just played two bad ones. You have one game. I'm going to kill him with Katniss. I'm going to kill him with Katniss. Instead of killing him with kindness, I'm going to kill him with Katniss. Yes. How about catnip? I need the catnip. Catnip, catnip. Let's see. All right, let me, let me analyze this. Let's see. Let's see. It's very divertido. I hope you draw. I am not good. I did not take the win. Thank you. Alex, that diagonal you had was too strong, man. That it those pawns, is. those pawns in that diagonal. It still like was it. a monster. I didn't like it. Uh, I my queen. I had a rook. Oh, you're getting just. Uh, that's a bit. Much. Coming here, you go. That's a bit much. What is that? How you doing? I gotta, I gotta teach him a lesson. I gotta teach him a lesson he's never learned before. A lesson in humility. Okay. I'm gonna teach him a lesson in humility. He's like a, he's a slow learner. You know? Here. Mike, what do I do? I don't know. Racine. Right, he wants me to Racine. Guys, got the I would agree with that. Developing pieces. You like that? Take me to. I'll uh, I'll send you. Catlin, take me to your leader. Your cheerleader. Wait. 
I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. Callan, there's only so much I can do to help you, you know what I mean? At some point, you gotta venture out on your own. It's true. You know? Take this guy. Oh my god. Look at all look at the complications we That's have right. here. That's how we do. We got complications here. That's how we play here. That's the fun. I don't see any benefit. You get two pieces, I get you get three pieces, I get two. Sounds like a good deal to me, right? <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me, he says. Oh. Surprise, surprise. Whoa. That's a, that's a cowardly move. Very cowardly. <laughs> I see you going for my night. Why are you doing it? Oh my, oh my God. goodness! Oh my I beat God. the kitty, the, the caddy, the, the sheba, the tabby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm done, man. I'm done. I should be counting, y'all. I'm out. I'm out, y'all. Wow. <laughs> First time I'm counting. I'm tired. I'm tired. Very sad. My bad. My bad, dude. Thanks for the game. Hey guys, Brian here and Aaron using the sneakiest trick in the Chess Hustlers book here. And whenever somebody points, it's like human instinct to look in this direction, but it's like the magician, right? When he says, pay attention, you got to look at the opposite way. And that is what happened here. And that was a beautiful uh, trick set up by Aaron there. And, and this game was a pretty interesting game. It was like a cat and mouse type of game, nothing too tactically missed. And I want to show you one line that was missed that was really, really cool. Um, I'll show you some really cool lines just in this one position. So here, I think this is Catlin's biggest advantage in the game. Computer has him at 2.7, and it goes to uh, pretty much zero. Let's go move back here, pause video. This is not like a forced tactic, but this is a very, very cool tactic that I want to show you guys. Very interesting lines here. See if you can find the best move for white. Yes, okay, starts off bishop d4. What is the point here? What are you trying to do? 
I know it's black. I know it's black to move, but if it's white to move, what would you play? If you guys can find this, you guys are a true genius here. All right, yes, the move is knight takes pawn. What the heck? All right, let me make a dumb move for black so I can show you. Knight takes pawn. What is the point? King takes. What's the follow up for white here? Yes. Queen c2, threatening mate, notice the knight pinned by the bishop, so cannot defend. Let's so say you bring the rook over for defense. Would he play as white? Yes, bring in the queen, doubling up on this knight. Queen defends, queen check. And now you get this nice um, walk here. And you don't even take it yet. Throw in the bishop. And just look at the beautiful harmony of the pieces working here. And... Black can only sack to delay the inevitable, and this will be checkmate. So, wow, that so that was White's plan all along here, right? That's beautiful. How many of us would think of this, right? It's very, it's not not a common thing to see. So, knowing that, um, knowing what you know, White is planning. Let's say Black plays um, knight e5 to block the bishop. What would you play as White here? Yes, you can play c4, and what is the point of that? Let me just show you one line real quick. Let, if black decides to take here, then white can play queen um, e3. Now you're doubled up on this. Rook defends, but now you're coming in here for the mate. Push, knight check, and now you can push f4. And um, knight back, and this is defended all as well, right? Now you can play knight f5 check. King back, queen here, coming for the mate. How do you defend it? Knight h5, right? Knight h5, all good. What do you play here as white? Yes, a sack the queen. <laughs> and if black takes, look at this beautiful knight, bishop, checkmate. When's the, when's the last time you guys saw that, right? So going back here, you got to play something like f6, and, and obviously white is winning. So going all the way back here, Oh, when c4 is played, instead of taking, let's say you uh, play rook here because you know um, this is going to be attacked. So take, take, rook over, and this could be one continuation. And white is winning here at 3.4. So, but wow, just want to show you that one line with the with a knight sack here, and that's definitely one to keep in your arsenal. It's very, very um non-intuitive but uh it is there and i hope you guys enjoyed that queen sack here as well that's a pure, that's a that's a beautiful one you got to remember this little pattern here so wow but great game by aaron and catlin here very very cat and mouse much like um both kind of posturing but at the end aaron busted out that magician's trick man when he when he says look over here always look at the opposite mike is always good at that too with the finger pointing and it's just human psychology we can't help but look at where the finger is pointing to so Keep that in mind for your next chess game. That's it done, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.